Okay, so we're back and we're here showing off some of the Dagu Wild Thumper stuff that we did already. Um, just to recap, what we've done is we've basically this is for the RC project. So we've rigged it with the saber tooth that's designed for RC. The receiver is a copy receiver that we took out of a model airplane, nothing fancy, and a basic remote control. Um, the other thing we did was bought two batteries. Now this is for we bought two batteries because we we're thinking, okay, maybe we want more juice, or maybe we want to have you know, later on, one for the RC stuff and then have two, one to power the Dagu and one to actually power any circuitry that we're going to power on this. Like, you know, an Arduino board, and some controllers and sensors, stuff like that for the autonomous projects. So, kind of what I wanted to show off is just the Dagu moving around and doing stuff, but before we actually do that, these are some basic motion tests. So, here's forward. Now, reverse is giving us some problems still. We're going to work that out little by little. And we have left and right. Just you can kind of see me doing it at the same time. So it's very straightforward. There you go. So let's just kind of take a recap here of what we did. Let me shut this off here. Looks like it went a little funky. Let's unplug it. Gonna have to bear with me here. There we go. All right, so that's unplugged. So what we've done is here's a saber tooth, and that's wired directly to the receiver. Okay, this is the RC saber tooth, so it's designed just for RC. Now, when you look at what we did here. <clears throat> Basically, we wired, we wired all the motors on one side to one side of this patch panel here that came with the Wild Thumper, and we wired these over here to the other side. Then what we did is we basically took two cables for each side, red and black, and we ran it straight into the saber tooth, as you can see here and here. And that's it. Now you can, since this has six, you can wire these all together. We just chose this was this easier configuration for us. Because otherwise we're gonna have six coming out of here. We said, you know what? Let's just clump it all together first and then we'll make it neat afterwards. So <clears throat> that's about it. One of the nice things I want you to notice is look at these wells here. So you can even really put four of these battery packs if you wanted to when you stand these up like so. There's definitely plenty of clearance and you have plenty of room in here to put them. So again, you can put four of these battery packs in there, if not more. You can get very creative. Or you can use one of these, which is what we talked about in our previous reviews or videos, that we talked about putting the actual circuitry inside of here and then putting the battery packs on the back or the front, whichever one we think is good. And that's about it. <clears throat> so I hope this is uh, pretty good for you. The next video will show this thing moving around and we'll go outside with it.